1958, the world was first introduced to one of the first prototypes of what would become one of the most popular aircraft of its era, the F-4 Phantom II. The development began in response to the U.S. Navy's requirement for a versatile fighter to replace the F-8 Crusader. The answer came in 1958, when McDonald showed off its first prototype, the XF-4H-1. This all-weather, long-range aircraft promised it can move at a top speed of Mach 2. Test pilot Robert Little first flew the prototype from Lambert St. Louis Airport in May of 1958. He bore the twin General Electric J-79 engines to life. The U.S. Navy knew they had a special aircraft on the horizon and ordered two testing aircraft from McDonald. Throughout its production, the Navy understood just how powerful of an aircraft this prototype was proving to be, and they wanted to show it off. So they led a series of record-breaking flights with these prototypes. On December 6, 1959, Commander Lawrence E. Flint Jr. pushed the prototype to its limit, taking the aircraft to a top speed of Mach 2.5, which represented a significant advancement in aviation technology. This prototype design ultimately evolved into the F-4 Phantom II, which became the most widely produced American supersonic military aircraft in history and set 16 speed records during its time. The F-4 Phantom II stands as a significant aircraft, showing advancements in aircraft design, versatility, and long-lasting service across the globe.